Okay, here's my rant about light, time, and Paul Virilio. Paul Virilio was a great French writer who wrote some amazing stuff about technology, speed, and computers, essentially, and also about cities. In his essay, The Overexposed City, he makes some very interesting claims about light and time and what happens to them um, over the internet, over cables, across space. If you think about the way that you measure time, very early way of measuring time was with light, the rising and setting of the sun. Now we measure time in different ways, but if you imagine that your main way of measuring time was with light, uh, you were in your place on Earth, revolving around the sun, kind of dictated to in terms of time. That makes sense? We live here in Australia, the sun rises at a certain time every day and sets at a certain time every day. Part of the day is dark, part of the day is light. Be between these two is how we measure time. So now, on the computer, I can tap into a webcam like the one I'm recording this on and look at the other side of the world where the sun may have been up or maybe down and had that sun shine through the screen, this thing, here, even though it may be dark or it may be light. What this means is that your space on Earth now no longer dictates the time it is. And because space is now so tiny, as I'll talk about when I talk about the screen, the screen, time and space have become distorted.